Hello folks, today we're going to take a look at the Incurma model DM262 bilateral laser distance meter. Incurma was uh, kind enough to send me this, uh, this device uh, for me to have a look at and review. Um, and I've done that uh, under the understanding that I will give my honest opinion of this device and uh, give, you an honest, uh, give you an honest review of it. All right, so uh, the device comes uh, nicely packaged in uh, the box you see there. Uh, what's included in the box is the device itself. Uh, they include a, a nice little lanyard there. Uh, very uh, comprehensive uh, instruction manual. Uh, USB uh, charging cable, which we see right here. And a uh, very nice case to, to carry the unit in. So this is a laser measuring device and it uses a laser beam to calculate distance. Um, that's different than some of the older uh, units that we used to use uh, you know, years ago, which were sonar. Uh, this is quite advanced from that. Uh, this is use, again using laser. Now, this particular unit is rated for indoor use only, so it's not intended to be used outside. Um, it's it's multifunction. It will do a, a variety of measurements. It can measure distance, uh, length, height. It, it will do area calculations. Uh, it will do volume calculations for you. Um, it will it will also measure angles, and uh, it, it uh, stores information. It can uh, store up to I believe a hundred uh, calculations in it that you can go back in and it saves them for, you know, for your reference. So the unit itself has a built-in lithium battery. It's a rechargeable battery and it's charged uh, with a USB cord which again is included and so we just open this little port on the side here and plug the, uh, the cord into it there and the other end is just a uh, standard USB that can be plugged into your computer or a wall charger, you know, whatever, uh, whatever you use to charge your devices. All right, so uh, we're on one of my projects today here, and I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how this unit works. It has a very nice uh, multicolor screen. It's bright. It's a bright screen. It's a really nice screen. I really like the screen. Um, and then we have a, a function pad here uh, that gets us into different places in the menu. It has a very complex menu. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with this little device. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of show you the, the uh, you know, a few of the basic functions of it here today. So uh, right now it's in a uh, vertical uh, orientation. And so we're set up to take uh, a measurement up and down. Now the, uh, the unit projects a laser beam from uh, each each end of the unit so you can see it here all right and uh, we can see it here and then there's a receiver here that the beam comes back and, and it takes the calculation through this little receiver here so uh, the way this works is it projects a uh, laser beam out each end to the to the uh, place that you want to uh, measure here we have a ceiling above us and a floor below us and then it takes those two calculations and inside of the device it makes a calculation of, of how much that distance is. Um, we can change the screen here from uh, this vertical orientation. Uh, if we go to a horizontal uh, orientation, we can push our function button down here to change it to a horizontal um, layout. Okay. And we can also change the units of measurement. So right now I have it set for uh, measuring in inches and feet, feet and inches. And uh, if you want to measure in metric, you can go into the menu and change to metric as well. So let's take a, a couple of uh, measurements here just to see uh, how the unit works. Um, you can see over there on the wall, there's the, uh, the laser dot is over there. And uh, right there. And so we have a similar dot on the wall to my left and uh, that, that shows us you know, that we're measuring. So if the dot's there, it's ready to go. We push the measurement button and it will take a measurement and it makes a calculation. And here it's telling us we have a distance between these two walls, one on my left and one on my right, of nine feet, 11 and 13 sixteenths of an inch. 
All right, so if we, uh, let's test this and see if we get the same measurement twice. There we have 10 feet and 13 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's take another measurement and see what we have. 10 foot, 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so uh, now I'm hand, hand holding this and so you know we can get a little bit of this going on and of course if the beam is tilted it's going to have a longer measurement. So there is a little angle thing here that tells us, I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen or not, but uh, right up there that little triangle thing gives us degrees. So if, as I tilt the level, the, the device, it gives us a different uh, degrees, right? So to be totally accurate here, I need to be at zero, zero degrees, okay? So now I'm watching that, I'm pretty much there. Let's take another measurement. 10 foot, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, I'm, again, I'm gonna check this now. Here I am at zero, zero. Ten foot half inch okay so it's very important that you hold this thing correctly this way it's got to be level right to get an accurate measurement um, if you can it's better to hold the device on the wall okay where we can sort of give it some support support it with the wall and then that way you know we can get uh, zero zero right now we take our measurement nine foot eleven half inch okay so now we're well supported let's just do this again and see how accurate it is nine foot eleven half inch okay so you can see how important it is to to hold it steady nine foot eleven half inch okay very accurate when you have it properly supported okay and similarly we can you know measure vertically uh, the same way we change our uh, screen orientation here all right we hold it up and down again we have the uh, angle measurement here so we want in this case we want to be at 90 degrees to be straight up and down all right to get our measurement okay we're pretty close there so let's just take a measurement here from floor to ceiling and here we have seven foot six and a quarter inches okay hit it again seven foot five and four Five sixteenths, but you see again, I'm I'm wibble wobbling here. So um, get into that Pythagorean uh, theorem that you know when you we're not really measuring vertically, we're measuring a bit of we're we're measuring the hypotenuse of a triangle. Okay, and this uh, device is capable of doing that intentionally uh, in one of the settings in the menu. Right. So as I've already said, uh, you know, there's a lot of functions that this can do. Uh, the the unit will store your measurements for you and uh, so that you can go back and refer to them uh, so it will so it will measure um, if you want to do an area calculation you can do you know you can do an X measurement and a Y measurement and then it will do a calculation for you of what the area of that XY area is that you just measured it will also measure volumes, so you can get into like a, a, a X, Y, Z uh, measurement where it's, it's uh, you know, measuring on three axes. Okay, so I'm not going to go into all of the different functions to show you, you know, how that all works with those, uh, those measurements and how it saves and everything. Like I say, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's quite complex. It's very nice. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Um, you know, for the average person, you're not going to get into that. Um, you know, it's, uh, it is, it's very, it's quite complex. All right. So what do I think of this little device? Um, I think, you know, for the, for, for the, the price of it, I think it's a good value. Um, it seems to be, you know, pretty well made. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's a good, it's a good product. Uh, I like the things that come with it. You know, the, 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 the case is a, is a very nice feature. Um, you know, the USB cord, the lanyard, all of that, those are nice features. Um, who is it for? Um, I'm a carpenter, I'm in construction. Uh, the way I would use this device myself is I would use it for uh, estimation prop, uh, uh, problems. Um, 
You know, if I was going to a uh, job to try and figure out, you know, how many square feet of something I need, I could use it for that. It would uh, take that measurement and give me, uh, you know, a, a pretty good estimate of the size of a room of, that I'm working with. Uh, if I'm making a material list and, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how much I'm going to need to go a certain distance, I can take that distance and, you know, make a, make a material list. Um, is it good enough to uh, take a measure, measurement and actually cut from it? I don't think so. Um, you know, uh, you're still going to have to use a tape measure when you come down to actually doing the work. But it's a good estimating tool. Um, I can see someone like a uh, realtor using this device, you know, to go into a home if they're doing a listing, uh, you know, they can calculate the area of the rooms, you know, to put on their listing sheet. Um, you know, if you were a decorator, interior decorator, you know, again, uh, working with a client, uh, it would be a good tool for that where you're just trying to estimate, you know, uh, the length of something, um, you know, for... Uh, estimation purposes but uh, all in all I think it's a I think it's a pretty good little tool um, so uh, that's it folks that's all we're gonna do with this one today and uh, the uh, uh, in camera in camera is uh, offering uh, viewers of our video uh, discount in their Amazon store so it's a limited time uh, offer if you uh, want to go down into the description there uh, at the bottom of the video there, we'll put a link to their Amazon store with the, uh, with the code and um, also a link to their website. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.